Today I'll be sharing a list of the five worst car tools or parts that I've bought so that you don't make the same mistake. I recognize that this video may cost me access to free review samples and sponsorship opportunities, but to be honest, I'm more concerned about us DIYers and mechanics being safe and getting the best bang for our buck. Now let's get this. In first place is this Widowmaker Coil Spring Compressor Tool from Hell, made by Toolzone. I only used this product on three occasions, and by the next time I wanted to use it and give it an inspection, it already developed this crack on these vital hooks. Just imagine what failure under load would look like. This is one I advise you avoid at all costs if you want to live. Moving over to the world of scanners, the Foxwell NT809 is seriously competing for the worst scan tool that I've ever owned. My major gripe at the time of getting it was that it was stated to be a bi-directional tool only for me to discover that it was only partially bi-directional. While it supported bi-directional tests in the body control module, it left out the most critical computer in a car which is the engine control module. And this is one of the major reasons for getting a bi-directional tool in the first place. I don't know if Foxwell has updated this tool and made it fully bi-directional. If you know they have, please drop me a comment. Also for its price tag, you can definitely get a fully bi-directional directional tool with some change to spare. Third on my list are these pen style brake fluid testers. They are often calibrated to meet the standards of certain brake fluid manufacturers and the problem arises when you use them out of this context. There's also no easy way of knowing which standard the tool is calibrated for and as you can see from this previous video, I tested it on many bottles of freshly opened brake fluid and in every case it misdiagnosed all the fluids and concluded that they should be replaced. Aftermarket valve cover gaskets are the next on my list of worst purchases. They either leak from day one or they don't last as long as the OEM. My advice is to save yourself the time and get the OEM the first time. However, if you happen to know a good aftermarket brand, give me a shout in the comments. Last on my list is a Beck and Anley PCV valve which I got for my 2003 Accord some years back. I wasn't serious with YouTube at the time so I didn't save the actual part but I'm the kind of guy that uses a torque wrench for everything including on engine cover bolts. However, the PCV valve broke on the engine even before I could get down to its rated 44 Nm or 33 foot pounds. I was very lucky to unscrew the bit that was left in the engine, most probably a factory defect. But since then, I've consciously avoided Beck and Anley parts. Keen to hear if you've used any parts from this manufacturer who I rated highly before this experience. That's it for this video. Hope this has been helpful. Do like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications if it has and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!